Hey with everyone, welcome back to my bedroom. My name is Diesel and you are as always most welcome. I have a double eye infection. Why, you may ask, because I'm an idiot. Let us not digress any further than that, but just know that you are the lights of my life and you are burning so bright today that you are pulsating into my eyes and burning them badly, so much that I wish to scratch them out, but cannot for infection. Doctor would not be pleased at all. Today we're going to be reviewing a book, one book, because I have re I have reviewed, no, I have read a lot of books while I was on my vacation in Zakynthos, um, but I wanted to do something light and easy today to get me back into the swing of things and so I wouldn't have to concentrate too much and accidentally scratch the eyeball. Ugh, it makes sense in my head. So today we'll be, we'll be doing those. Just what I said, right there. <sighs> Today we'll re I did it again! What is this madness? Today we will be reviewing a book that is called Lying Out Loud by Cody Keplinger. If Cody Keplinger sounds familiar to you, it is because she wrote The Duff, which this year was turned into a motion picture, um, which was not as good as the book. Did some weird changes to it, didn't like it at all. Um, but if you're interested in my review of that book, uh, it will be somewhere around here, maybe, or in the crotch level of the video down bar thing, the bop. Um, let's get right to it. Sudden angle change for unexplained reasons. So what's it all about? Well, the book follows the life of Sonny, who is a teenage girl living in a the town of Hamilton. Um, she is a compulsive liar, a habitual one. Really, she should seek therapy, but obviously she doesn't. Uh, she lies pretty much about everything, all the time, all day, every day, and is really disturbingly good at it. In fact, the only person that she ever really tells the truth to is her best friend, Amy, who is the connection to Ryder. Ryder is a new boy in Hamilton High, and he is pretty much everything that Sonny hates. He is snobbish, and he never fecking stops complaining about everything. But he has one weakness, and that is the fact that he is a massive crush on Amy. One day he emails Amy to tell her, well, I'm not sure if he's going to tell her, but to flirt with her, and Sonia decides that it is the perfect time for a prank. Posing as Amy, Sonia writes to Ryder, and accidentally ends up staying up all night with him talking about stuff, and slowly realises that maybe she has developed a crush on him now. So, in order to take his love away from best friend Amy onto her, she devises this scheme. And considering she's a habitual liar, you can believe that the scheme won't be a truthful one. Going back to previous angle to discuss thoughts on book. Bye! Forgive me if I consult my notes while doing this. This was one of the first books I read two weeks ago and I have slightly forgotten all the things that I thought about it. But the first thing I need to tell you is... I really felt like the characters in this book were just a rehash of the Duff, of the Duff's characters, um, just not as well done. Sonny is Bianca in personality and style and just that whole like, they just have a particular personality and they're the same person except for Sonny is a habitual liar and Bianca wasn't. Amy, I just felt was... Bianca's friends in the Duff put together, you know, that typical really beautiful, smart, pretty, kind to everyone, um, soul of gold type thing, um, makes Sonny feel inadequate by how perfect she was. It just didn't seem like there was a reinventation, um, that was a weird way to say that, a reinventation. Obviously, English fails me. Um, I don't know, it was just, like, Bianca turns up in this book too, and it was just like reading the same character twice. Um, also, there was parent problems galore. Keplinger loves parent problems. There was a crap ton of them in the Duff, and there's a crap ton of them in this. And really, sometimes I just want young adult authors to know Teenagers face more problems than just having shitty parents or parents that are getting divorced 
or parents that, I don't know, don't like each other, or have, I, there's just a lot of parent things, it's the, the constant, it's really constant. Um, also, there, some of the writing was kind of odd for me, I think Kaplinger is an excellent writer, I really enjoyed the duck, like I said, but there's just some things where it doesn't really feel like the words are coming from an actual teenager. There are some adult writers who have this gift where they can, it's like they can get inside the mind of a teenager and write from their perspective. But in this book, it just didn't feel like that. Um, there was a lot of tech speak. Did I say that already? Am I repeating myself? But the it, it felt completely stale. It just felt really unrealistic and un- from the from the mind of a teenager, I guess, and I wasn't. I I'm old, but I'm not that old. It wasn't that long since I was a teenager, and I just couldn't relate to it. To the way they were speaking, or I was I don't know. There was just something about it. Look how coherent I am, as always. But I don't know. Maybe I think this is a young adult book. I'm not quite sure. But to me, it shouldn't be. It's a bit, it's a bit too, it feels younger than that. It feels, it doesn't, it doesn't get on the Duff's level at all. And I was pretty disappointed in it, um, especially after how good the Duff was. But I will say, when I read the, um, the description of the Duff, I was excited for that. This one... I wasn't excited for. I didn't think it sounded very interesting. So maybe my brain was simultaneously telling me, don't do it. It's a bad idea. But anyway, that's how I felt about it. Um, it's not a series, so I can't tell you whether I'll be continuing the series. Would I recommend this particular Kaplinger book? No, definitely not. It feels too juvenile, very middle grade-ish or whatever. I'm not from America, I don't really know what that means, that's just my head thinking, but yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend it. The Duff is far better, I definitely recommend that people would read The Duff, um, not see the movie, the movie is not good, but the book, but lying out loud, it's definitely not for me, and I don't think it would really be for any of you either, just judging by the taste that you tell me that you have in the comments and the messages, but if you do read it, <coughs> and I'm not dead before then, please tell me what you thought. And until next time, see you in the next review. Goodbye. I mean, Garev Mott for coming. Slon.